This is Twit. Getting back to over-the-ear headphones, I did want to spend a little bit of time talking about the Ossic X, the product mm -hmm. from your company that you've been working on, yep. uh, which addresses many of these issues that we've been talking about. Yeah. Uh, in, I think, a very interesting way. Uh, so give us an overview of the OSIC X. So, I mean, uh, what OSIC X is doing is, uh, um, th this is a smart headphone. There, We have sensors in, built into the headphone. So as soon as you wear it, it actually captures the head size. That's the first thing it does. And with, as we explained, with if you know the head size, you can actually get a very good estimate of these ITDs and the ILDs. So uh, that is calibrated to your ear. So you, it's, it's personalized to your ear. Your um, head size. Uh, your head size, right. Uh, and then these, the headphone is, is essentially a multi-driver headphone. Um, it has um, speakers positioned at different locations and they're strategically positioned, positioned such that um, as they play it automatically um, captures your, your, post, your pinna features. So uh, the the heart of the system it's it's that as well as the way we tune it. So we tune it in such a way that uh, it it matches really well with, with your personalized HRTF. Mm -hmm. And uh, you you've heard the demo um, uh, and yeah it 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 works pretty well. Um, I, I, I'm amazed I'm amazed at how well it works actually from the demo that I heard. Uh, and I should I should I wanted to make sure people understood that. You said it has multi multiple drivers in each ear cup, yes. and more specifically, it's got one in the center of the ear cup. It's got one in front of that main driver, in one above and one behind. Above. Behind, yes. So that means, and, and and sound coming from any of those drivers interacts with your particular outer Partic ear or pinna. Yes, yes. And and that sort of automatically takes into account the specific yeah. shape of your ear. Yeah, and, and the other really important thing, which is not given that much importance in general, is is the head tracking. Now, mm. here is the thing. Head tracking is, is one of the most important things in, in, in actually binaural listening. Um, I would say that because now the tiny head movements that we do all the time while listening to sounds makes a huge difference. Now, imagine a sound source to be right at the center. So you don't have ILDs and ITDs now. It's all zero. It's all the same, right? If it's right, right at the center. If it's right the, in front of you. Yeah, and the spectral cues... If again, if the if there is a mismatch between the spectral cues between the H, HRTF and your HRTF, now what happens is we often do these tiny head movements. Even a tiny head movement, I would exactly know that the sound source is in the on the left side of my head, and I could pick up the angle. So, it's it's head movements, tiny head movements are very very important to localize sounds. And we're uh, extremely sensitive to that. We are extremely sensitive to that. Yes. So these headphones also have built-in head trackers. So as you move your head, sound source remains at the same position. So ideally, I mean, if you go to a concert, when you lose, it, when you turn your head back, the concert remains at the front, right? It, it, right? it doesn't move with you. But normally in headphones, that's what happens. You you listen to anything, you turn your head, everything moves with you. Uh, which yeah and. So this head tracking makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. In fact, Drew Nielsen was asking this about uh, how about a headset or headphones that measure your individual HRTF and adjust output accordingly. That's exactly what the point of the OSIC X yeah. is, right? Yes, yes, it is, it is. 